This is a time we need to ascend. We not only need to press through. Many people want to just put their head on the press through. No. The Lord is saying lift your head and come up hither. Not in pride. Lift your eyes to the hill from which comes your help. Every day you don't get what you've done, he showed you mercy. And it's new every day. And you dare worship anyone but him. And by him I mean Jesus. Lord and Savior, Yahshua HaMashiach, Yahweh, the only living God. Good day, beloved, and thank you for joining me again today. I've been on the marathon. I've done a few, and uh, yeah, I wasn't in for a wardrobe change today. <laughs> so I'm going to keep on going as promised. Even though I've recorded a few uh, before this, I said I was going to do the uprooting evil or ancestral demonic trees, plants, and forests. Uh, many of you, uh, I would suggest, I will put the, I will make sure I put my prayer list in the link. But if you go to anyone's channel, you will see the prayer, uh, the list I have. I have a prayer list and ministry list and you could actually go listen to me pray scripture because i used to just pray right out of my heart but i am led to do this uh so that many can list and the lord may even give you things to add to this but i know that it is a very vast because this was something the lord gave me in the spirit to go on my husband and i side and to uproot ancestral demonic forces because i said just like i did in the message that many of us have come into the kingdom even as we save with all kind of trees that are in us that need to be uprooted every tree that the lord by god has not planted shall be torn down shall be uprooted and that's any tree in your life any tree out uh in your around you any tree that is in you and attached to you must be uprooted and destroyed by fire um because and and you make sure you say that scripture even before or after this that every tree that my father has not planted shall be uprooted and so i'm going to start that off with this that i decree that every uh um every tree that my father has not planted shall be uprooted and cast in fire i'm just going to literally read verbatim what i have typed here because i kind of just pray out my heart but I used to read this out loud and every now and then I still pick it up and read it out loud and walk through my house and declare it. It's not about if you memorize it. It's the faith you said with. Pick that paper up and walk through the house and declare them words out your mouth. And then there'll be other times you're just praying and they'll just come out randomly. But every now and then, even though I know I pray scripture, I still will pick a lot of these things up and just walk through the house and say the whole thing out loud. OK, uh, so I'm going to uh, uh, record this for you guys. Just so it can kind of get you on your way to begin to speak to the demonic trees and forces that may linger in your life that may be hindering you. And blood, even though you uh, destroy things that they blade up again in the spirit realm, because while the Lord is sanctifying you by his word, getting it out of you, the enemy tends to do things to replant or cause them things to grow. So you get up every day and you decree that any seed that the enemy sowed or sent forth in your mind and the hearts of your children, your husband, your wife, you decree that it is spiritually discarded. It shall not germinate. You de we, we reject those seeds. We decree they shall not come forth and destroy them by fire. Okay. Every morning, any seed. In any tree, any seed, because it starts with a seed that grows. So you, once you uproot the trees, you speak to any seed that the enemy have planted in your thoughts, feelings, emotions. They send them through signals and they send them through vibrations. They send them through sounds in the night that you get up in any seed that the enemy has attempted to plant through sound, touch, taste, smell, images, and any other form of communication. I reject it and by fire it is destroyed and cast out. It shall not spring forth. Okay? In the name of Jesus. Let's go forth. Every Jesus. And if I got some typos on how I correct myself as I go, because I don't know what I got in this computer, okay? On the typos, because I'll catch myself, but I'll, I'll get around it, okay? By the authority given to me in the name of Jesus Christ, by the victory, his cross, and the power of his, of his blood, and the justification of his resurrection, resurrection, being in him as him, in the name of Christ Jesus, my Lord, I uproot every evil and demonic ancestral tree. Forest, plant, vine, seed, or root. Okay? I uproot every primary root, every seminal root, every lateral root, the crown root, and the brace root, and every supporting root. I also destroy by fire. I destroy by the fire of the Lord God the boughs and the branches. By fire, let them be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call the holy fire of the Lord my God to destroy the transport system, the photosynthesis system, the reproductive system, the storage system, and the hormone system of every supporting system. I also call the fire of the Lord God to destroy the auxiliary bud, destroy the ap apical bud, and any buds as well as the blades. 
by fire let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Okay? I want you to go down even and repent. And do this, say, I follow all your ancestors and everyone attached on your father and your mother's side. Okay? I stand for them and as them. Okay? Because when your ancestors didn't do it, it can end at you. Okay? I repent of, rebuke, renounce, and denounce. And now I decree the uprooting of every evil or demonic ancestral tree, forest, or plant. Any tree, forest, or plant of incest, of rebellion, of violence, of abuse, of envy, of strife, of harassment, of perversions of any kind, of destruction, of fear, of depression, of anger, of spite, of revenge, of bitterness, of division, of lying, of limitations, of setback or delay, of poverty and every tentacle of poverty, of selfishness, of religion, of presumption, of pride, of rejection and idolatry in every form, any spirits of uncleanness, of spiritual deafness, spiritual blindness, masturbation, lewdness, addiction, pornography, and bell worship in any form, and even to homosexuality, baphomet worship, homosexuality, incest, and, ab and abortions. I renounce and denounce and rebuke it, and repent of it in place of them, as them, and for myself. And I decree by fire, these trees and these forests are destroyed. Okay? I'm going on. Any trees, forests, seeds, plants of desolation, demonic trees, of desolation, of bondage, of slavery, of hate, of abortion, of child sacrifice, of lying, of sorcery, of whoredom, of uh, uh, adultery, of voodoo, of witchcraft, any evil powers of evil potions, self-hate, unclean spirits, demonic agreement, uh, agreement with uh, demonic sources or demonic beings, Worship of evil principalities, powers, laziness, grief, trickery, thievery, robbery, strife, unforgiveness, division, persecution, chains of steel, bondage, rape, self-pity, oppression, snakes, serpentine spirits, evil worship, evil aromas and incense burning, evil vapors, clouds of evil, evil potions, evil aspects in occult and imps that we've come into agreement with. You renounce and denounce, and by fire, those ancestral trees are destroyed. Shapeshifters, suicide, depression, infirmity, high blood pressure demons, diabetes, cancer, inflammation, repertory, gluttony, vanity, greed, drugs, drug selling, failure, watcher spirits that you come into agreement with the fallen, Jezebel, exploiters, abusers of women, abusers of men, especially incest, in the name of Jesus Christ, the, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord my God, over all of these, I rise up a standard. Over all of these, I raise up a standard. Jesus Christ and him crucified is the standard. And the victory of the cross is the standard. And I declare that the blood of Jesus is against them and the victory over them by the authority he has given me. Let all these ancestral forests and trees and woods and spurs uh, 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 be destroyed by fire. Every bowl, every branch, every seed by fire, let it be destroyed and decree it is uprooted and it should not be uh, uh, rooted again and it should not return in the name of Jesus. What I bind on earth is bound in heaven and what I loose on earth is loosed in heaven according to thy word, Lord. Lord, what, did I jump up that quick? I sure did. Okay, let me go. Uh, okay, what I bind on earth is bound in heaven. What I loose on earth is loosed in heaven. I bind and cast out all of this evil and any other evil unknown and not mentioned, even unconscionable and unfathomable evils. That means you can't even imagine it. And all persons, things, entities in any realm or, de or detention or dimension and operating through any host, any vessel that sets themselves against the true knowledge of God, against your will in my life, against me, against my house, against my destiny, and those called by your name. I declare as one with them in the name of Jesus. My Lord of hosts, according to thy word, loose the heavenly and holy warring angels against every evil principality, every demon, every witch, 
on every level, in every realm, in any dimension to war against these evil forces. According to thy word, send them forth as ministering spirits, for we are heirs according to the salvation. You have, you have given them charge over us to keep us in all of our ways of obedience and faith living. I trust and believe that word. Now loose them, Lord. I loose them according to thy word and stir thyself up, Lord, and arise to our help, for I have trusted in you. And you said, those who wait upon us should not be made ashamed in the name of Jesus. Now, according to thy word, Lord, as I do delight myself in the law of the Lord and meditate on it day and night, I am like a tree. You decree that you are a tree. You didn't get rid of these demonic trees. I decree I am like a tree planted by the rivers of living water and shall bring forth my good food in due season. My leaves shall not wither and whatsoever I do shall prosper. And I decree this according to thy word, Lord. In Psalms 1, 2, 3, 3. Justice for your FYI, okay? I thank you that surely there is no enchantment against me and there is no evil decree and prophecy spoken and any and and even uh, spoken and even sent forth out of an evil heart against me and my house. It shall not stand, I decree, and I decree it shall not come to pass. I thank you that the blessing of the Lord has made me rich and added no painful toil. I prosper and I am in good health even as my soul prospers. Me uh, prospers. Uh, yeah, prospers. Prosper me, Lord. Prosper me, Lord, according unto thy holy word and precious promises. You put them in remembrance of his word, okay? I know and thank you that your plans for me are good and not evil. Plans of hope and future and an expected end. And it shall be up on me and my house according unto thy word, Lord. Hope, future, and your expected end. I decree overwritten every time set of the enemy with the set time of the Lord, for you are the master of time. Lord, I know that you are all the while effectually working in me and willing to do your good pleasure. Lord, let your good pleasure be done in and through me and up on all things concerning me and those connected to my destiny in you. I decree every time I set I decree every time set of the enemy overridden and nullified by the set time of the Lord. Lord, I trust and believe in decree. I will be at the right place at the right time in the right state of being and in the right state of mind. I, the same I decree for the body of Christ. Now, Lord God, for your glory's sake, for your name's sake, for your mercy's sake and for your word's sake, hear and hasten to perform your word by way of my prayer of faith. In Jesus' mighty name, I do pray. And that is a, a beginning prayer, because I got way more bass listening to this. But it is a beginning prayer of uprooting evil and ancestral demonic trees, plants, and forces from your life. And then when you finish doing this, you decree that every tree that my father has not planted, do it before, shall be uprooted. And then you decree what the word says about you being a tree formerly planted by the rivers of water. So I pray that this blesses your soul because I usually don't do that. I might do some more because I got some very thorough lists, y'all. I mean, very thorough lists. So this, uh, take this word, listen to it uh, over and over again. Learn and tear down the ancestral trees off of your life. And then when you go, even start to do it off your brothers and sisters. Stand in the gap and turn it off of their life. You're going to get some fight with you. They hate that. Once you got it, you gotten free and you've grown. Start to turn off of them. You become the gate that's between them and God. You start to turn out what's holding them that they may grow and that they may not miss their moment of visitation. Because many people miss their moment of visitation because they're not even free to hear. And your prayers and your decrees and your work for to turn down by standing in the gap will cause them to hear his voice that day and their lives will forever be changed. So I pray this blesses your soul. Grace be with you, beloved. I love you all. Did you know that when you hit thumbs up, you enable more to be fed by the very message that just fed you? So share the spiritual meal, feed others, work a righteous work, work at evangelism by working the thumb. Thumbs up, feed more. Thumbs up, feed more. So into the good ground of preach be a voice, not an echo, yet only as you have purposed in your heart. For God loves a cheerful giver. The truth, the truth of the word of God. The word of God.
1 Corinthians 9.11 reads, If we have sown into your spiritual things, is it a great thing if we shall reap your carnal things? Give only with purpose and cheer, for we desire fruit that will abound towards your account. We thank you for all of your support, seed of your time, seed of your prayers, and the purpose seed of your gifts. To give, visit our YouTube channel and click on the PayPal logo or go directly to PayPal using the following links or email preachbvne at yahoo.com. To listen to more messages and for the latest updates and offers, visit www.preachbvne.webs.com. Also view messages on the YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash C slash preach be a voice, not an echo ministry. Also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Do the work of an evangelist. Watch it, then share it. Beloved, we wish above all things that you will prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Grace be with you. Thank you for joining us today on Preach, Be a Voice, Not an Echo. We pray that you were encouraged and empowered by today's message. Until next time, we encourage you to hang on to God's unchanging hand and preach. Grace be with you.